five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Let's go. Faithful Bearhams here with episode one of Youth Squad Gods with Northampton. I am so relieved that FIFA 19 is here. Though it'll just be more like FIFA 18. But you know what? I'm not going to complain. We're going to make some great memories here on this channel. As you can see, there is a little bit of a difference to a lot of my other series is that I have this face cam. Yes, I do. I don't know if I'll be doing it all the time, but I'm going to try to do it as many times as I possibly can. The team that we will be using for the save, as I said before, is Northampton. Recently, they were relegated to League Two, and it's going to be our job to get the Cobblers not only back to that league, but to the Premier League and possibly a Champions League final. Manager for the save will be Yonggi Pak, the North Korean striker from my U Squad God save with Minnesota United. If you want to see more of him, just take a look in the description below where I will have the playlist located. I will have a set of rules to this save, kind of inspired by Cutsy's extreme rules from his Crew Alexandra save. Uh, not as strict, but uh, it is kind of taut in some areas. Uh, we'll kind of get into that a little bit later. Uh, the main rules you should know is that the squad can only be as big as 30 players, and although it's you can have youth academy players and regens, I do have a celebrity rule where you can have one real player. And I think for this first season, the real player will be the beast mode himself, Akin Fenwa. If you want to check out the rest of the rules, I do have them in the description below. I made a video a couple weeks ago kind of explaining the process of how to make this youth squad gods a little more difficult for myself in terms of not only skill, but uh, business savvy. I'm kind of excited for that. So now we are going to go straight into the Youth Academy uh, scouting. And we do have three scouts. The first one will always be in England. It'll be a nine month cycle. It'll always be in England. Then the second slot will be for our British countries. So we'll be going back and forth between Scotland and Northern Ireland on six month uh, little excursions. And then the third and final one is a choice. A choice, pretty much any country I want to go to. For this first season, I will be going to Croatia, Poland, Denmark, and Ireland. For future reference, if you want to suggest a country, just leave it in the comments below. I'm excited to see how this team will look in about three or four years. And just like that, we simmed through the year, and we're just going to be going through... The squad with a quick squad report. Starting off, John McNeil, 57 overall. Matthias Lund, 55 overall. Declan Edwards, 54 overall. Marcus Evans, 51. Morgan Brown, 52 overall. Jordan Davis, 47 overall. Connor McGinnis, 52 overall. Jay Lee, 53 overall. Jonathan Davis, 48 overall. Boris Vinsky, 55 overall. Mikhail Petrovsky, 50 overall. Joel Alexander, 50 overall. Elliot Collins, 55 overall. Artie Walker, 56 overall. Andrew O'Neill, 60 overall. Ewan Young, 55 overall. That's going to be a tough one to say. Not as tough as this one, though. I'm not going to try with the first name. I'll get that later. But Olkowski, 59 overall. Dragon Dragic. <laughs> That's a funny name 48 overall Luke Jones 52 overall Marcus Moore 46 overall and to finish it off Lucas McKenzie the Scotsman at 50 overall so those were our 21 youth academy signings the four free agent signings that we made are striker Luke Downing 61 overall he is the best player on the team he is a five foot five striker he is also the fastest player on the team with a 76 sprint speed. I hope that will change soon. And he does have a four star weak foot and three star skill moves. 
so I think he's going to pair very well with Olkowski since he's six foot two, he's five foot five. I think kind of the difference in height will help work out. Our second signing was Chris Leutweiler, a Canadian center back, 55 overall, so he's going to be the best center back. I know it's so sad. He's going to be the best center back on our squad. Six foot two, not the tallest guy, but then we also have French striker Eden Fauché, 51 overall. Just brought him in for roster depth. Uh, three star skill moves, three star weak foot, but he is low on the attacking rate. And then finally, we have Frederick Sklossen, 59 overall. He's going to be like the other two. Uh, if you get out of Fauché, uh, he will be a starter. 59 overall, 6 foot 2. I'm... I don't know. We'll see how he does. Off camera, I did play the preseason tournament, and it was a bit of a shit show to say the least. Three games, three 2 nil results. Couldn't get the offense going at all. And there's a, pretty much a big reason why I did sign up those free agent players. This offense is dreadful, plain and simple. I no way to really describe it. Uh, a lot of these players are just really terrible, and for good reason. Yeah, stuff like that. And shit like this. So uh, I'm going to try a 3-5-2 for this first game against Morkum. We'll have Edwards, Evans, and Lloyd Weiler as the back three. Lee and Collins as our holding midfielders. And then on the wings, we have O'Neal and Vinsky. Our cam will be Young, and our two strikers will be Luke Downing and Olkowski. So you can kind of see what I'm trying to do there. And then if Young's good enough, he'll kind of move forward, and we pretty much kind of have three forwards to start. Ah, yes, the first game and the only game of this episode will be away against Morkum. Before we get into the game, though, I would like to shout out Rodolfo Gaming. He is doing his youth series, Youth Squad Prospects, with Morkum. I uh, suggest going into the description below of this episode, clicking on that, watching his new series, and liking and subscribing his stuff. Uh, other stuff that he does is if you are a part of Cutsy's Discord, the Youth Squad Legends, he is doing a hell of a job with the youth database, getting all that set, and really expanding the universe of Youth Squad Legends. To give a short and sweet review of FIFA 19 so far, I have to say I am slightly impressed. Slightly impressed as in some of the housekeeping things they've done, the squad hub's better with the amount of numbers it has of like players and then also it has the number of certain positions that's very helpful also the transfers the transfers are so helpful when it comes to a series like this i didn't have to restart the series at all to get rid of all the real players that's very impressive and that's you know give credit where credit's due those are the good things I also like the new ball handling skills when it comes to juggling. I was having a lot of fun with that with uh, Luka Modric in the uh, demo. Uh, though there are some things that I'm having a tough time with. I mean, like that, as you can see. <laughs> Just getting used to FIFA 19 has been kind of tough. I'm still having, you know, FIFA 18 withdrawal. Because I'm so used to like the the gameplay of that, gotta get used to the the speed and the pace of all this. But I like what I see so far, and I hope there's more to come in the future. Vinsky trying to start a counter here. He's gonna try to find Olkowski, but no, he's gonna go to the center. And oh, what a beautiful pass by Young! That'll free up O'Neal. O'Neal to Neil Young. Young to Olkowski. Oh, takes a deflection off the Morecambe defender. All right, here's take two. Jay Lee slips set to O'Neal. O'Neal. Try to do the same thing again. Well, finally again. Now O'Neal cuts back, floats one in the box, looking for Vinsky. But oh my God. 
Oh, boy. All right, so that is 45 minutes. At least we haven't conceded yet. That's how I'm looking at it. So here's Bastoni. Finds Vildig. Vildig back to Bastoni. Slides it. Oh, some good backward passing. Great save by Skulason. But like most of the goals I have conceded on FIFA 19, they have come off of def a deflection. And so there we go. One nil Markham. They're looking to threaten again. They might. Oh, wow. Good slide by Declan Edwards. Keeping this game 1 0. So, okay. One thing I have found that has really pissed me off with this game is these new tactics. I wanted to stay in the uh, 3 5 2 I was in, but no, it shot me to a 4 4 2. So now we're going to go 3 2 5. Good play by Lee. Keeps it in the zone. Edwards. Tolkovsky. I, that's just so stagnant. Nothing's going on. And now Edwards might have a chance for a shot, but just wide. Ah, uh, skims. Does it skim? Does not skim the net, but that will be the end of the game. Uh... <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. We're going to have to figure out something. I, I, I just have to play more FIFA 19, to be honest with you. I think once I get used to kind of the motion and the physics of this game, I think the results will come. When it comes to first impressions, uh, Edwards is doing okay. Lutweiler is doing okay. But honestly, other than that, I can't really tell any of these players apart. I hope that will change soon. So, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as you're playing it. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, toodaloo.